Now, of course, Killian Paris is a brand that has been around for a long time. People love fragrances like Rolling in Love, Straight to Heaven, Straight to Heaven Extreme, even Love. Well, in today's episode, we're gonna be focusing our attention on my favorite spring offerings from the brand. I'm gonna rank them in order leading up to my favorite. I'm excited to get on with this list, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode, and I talk to you about my 10 favorite Killian Paris fragrances for the springtime, and generally speaking, the hotter weather, I do wanna start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or if you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me. I also wanna mention that I recently had the opportunity a couple weeks ago to try Blue Moon Ginger Dash, which is their most recent offering with the Ambroxan, the Vodka Accord smells amazing. That is one that I plan on purchasing as soon as it becomes available. For the time being, however, I don't have a bottle of it in my collection, but it would easily be in the top three because it's very bright, refreshing, the citrus, the Vodka Accord, it's very, very good. So let's just go ahead and dive into the list. The first fragrance on this list is actually Dark Lord. I acquired this one some years back. This one is a rum accord. There's leather. There's Cipriol, Davana, if I'm remembering correctly. But in the dry down, you also have this patchouli and vetiver combination. And when I think of spring, I think generally speaking of earthy fragrances. This one is amazing. This one is very dark, green, masculine, sophisticated, has a really interesting personality about it. The next one that I want to talk about is Roses on Ice. Now, this is one where I gotta be honest, I have to be in the mood for it because there are some times I smell it and it kind of reminds me of a cucumber salad. <laughs> but it does have this cucumber note up on top and it also has rose in here and it's just a very bright, refreshing and even relaxing fragrance. It always lifts my spirits. It puts me in a very good mood. It's a bit of a quirky composition though. So it's a love it or hate it type of a fragrance. For some people, I've heard the criticism that the cucumber might be a little bit too strong for them. So definitely get your nose on it and see if it's something that works with your sentiments. The next fragrance on this list is, let me clear my label here, it's Love. Now, I've had this bottle for many, many years. I have very dark, almost like red, like wine red liquid inside my bottle. This one is Orange Blossom Vanilla Marshmallows. It smells divine. The orange blossom gives it that perfect floral touch that always puts me in a spring type of a mood. If I crave something a little bit on the sweeter side of things, I'm always going to go with love. And then of course, we also have Straight to Heaven. Man, I bought this one many years back. This is the quintessential rum-based fragrance. When you think of certain alcoholic beverages, right, encapsulated or portrayed in scented form. You think of cognac, perhaps you think of, you know, creation -y by Raja Parfum. You think of rum, maybe you think of Virgin Island Water by Crete. But this is rum in all its dark, spicy forms, and I love this so much. Straight to Heaven, White Crystal, this is the original. The next fragrance that I want to talk about, let's see what we have here. Can't Stop Loving You, wow amazing composition by Alberto Morias. Such an amazing and incredibly talented perfumer. Definitely one of the best. This one has honey in here. It has some green undertones that are really, really nice. It has a bit of a balsamic richness, but that sort of orange blossom honey combination is really sensual. Again, has a bit of a floral personality to it. And what I've noticed is that the bottles that are white, right, with the white Achilles shield on the side, these are the fragrances that have a bit of a floral personality to them. So Good Girl Gone Bad, I think if I'm remembering correctly, this is like tuberose and maybe even a touch of jasmine, but this is probably the most floral fragrance of all of the fragrances on this list. So this fragrance is just a bouquet of freshness. I truly love that floral sensation that I get from this one, and I can see why people enjoy it so much. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about has gotten super popular. This one is called 
Apple Brandy. Now, if you have the choice of getting either Apple Brandy or Angel Share, Angel Share, of course, is a lot darker. It's a lot more ambery, even as far as the color of the liquid is concerned. With Apple Brandy, though, you have the apple. You have a bit of spiciness. You have the sweetness. You have the pineapple. You have the bergamot. You have a lot of really bright facets about it. So this is definitely one of the fresher fragrances to explore from the Killian Paris brand. And then, of course, we have one of my favorite notes of all time, which is the note of almond. This time it's combined with iris and this is rolling in love. I remember when this came out a few years ago and I fell in love with it. And it's one that I do wear sparingly because that's my only bottle of it. And you know, I just fear that I'm going to run out of a lot of my favorite fragrances. But this one has a combination that is to die for. If you like almond, if you want something that's a bit more of like a sensual expression, I would definitely recommend checking out rolling in love by Killian Paris. And then this is moonlight in heaven, I think. Yep. <laughs> Moonlight in Heaven. The only blue bottle that I have at the moment. This stuff is amazing. This stuff is mango and coconut and citrus and definitely gives off a bit of a tropical edge. For this reason, I would say that a lot of people would probably really enjoy wearing this one in the summertime, but I think there's enough density in here and enough lasting power that you can thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this one in the spring as well. And of course, that leaves us with the fragrance in the number one spot. And and this is one that I cannot speak highly enough about. Of course, this is one that I've been wearing for many years. I recently located my bottle because I had the official travel atomizer that was I was wearing in the meantime before I was able to locate my bottle. And now they've actually changed the presentation of it in recent years. Now it's housed in one of these blue bottles, but I have the original, which is in the black bottle. This one is Vodka on the Rocks. So I believe this used to be a Moscow city exclusive exclusive in Russia. This is composed, if I'm remembering correctly, by Sidonie Lancaster, and she's an amazing perfumer, super talented. I mean, she's so wonderful when it comes to her creations. Definitely does gourmands very well, but this fragrance has the green notes, it has the ambroxan, it has the vodka accord, the rhubarb, the coriander. What an amazing, fresh and refreshing fragrance. Certainly signature scent worthy. I wear so much of it. Vodka on the Rocks is such a staple in my collection. Like I said, I have like one and a half bottles of it currently, but this is one that I would 100% repurchase all the time because I do wear it quite often. Thank you so much for joining me today. 10 Killian Paris fragrances with the honorable mention of Blue Moon Ginger Dash, which I don't own yet. And that was a prerequisite for a fragrance to make it onto this list is I had to own a bottle of it. But in any case, 10 amazing Killian Paris fragrances for the springtime. Leave your comments down below. Do you have a favorite Killian fragrance for the springtime? If you do, let me know what it is. Always love the interaction. Also, if you took anything of value from this video, please interact with this video in some way. That tells the YouTube gods that this content is a good match for you. You'll see more of it in your feed. So that means hit the bell, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.